When you're about to hear from a teenager who survived a dramatic fall down a cliff in our southwest, 14 year old Daniel Williamson spoke exclusively to Nine News. Swelling cuts and bruises, the only visible signs that Daniel Williamson fell 18 metres down a cliff face. But the 14 year old knows this fall could have killed him. I remember hitting the ground and then I kind of rolled. It was probably 10 metres and I hit two trees and then I hit another tree and it snapped and then the last tree caught my shoulder and then I just crawled back up the cliff and I kind of passed out. This was the Denmark local yesterday, cold, injured and alone. He took these selfies on his iPad, trapped part way down a cliff face in Denmark. It was another cliff down and that was really far and I was like, yeah, I was just worried. Daniel was hiking alone near Monkey Rock around 11 yesterday when he slipped. Branches helped to break his fall. Daniel managed to cling on. He yelled for help. But it wasn't until three hours later that he was spotted by bushwalkers. And another three before the SES managed to winch him to safety. What was it like getting your feet back on solid ground? Oh, it was good. Yeah, they only let me walk a little bit. They let me walk about three metres and then I had to go into the stretcher. The Southwest teen is also a FISA cadet. He used his jumper as a sling for what was initially thought to be a dislocated shoulder. He's a very, very lucky young man. I mean, it was a lovely day yesterday and people were out and about. If, um, if the weather conditions had been different um, and the circumstances the same, he may well have, uh, you know, we may still be out there looking for him now. Daniel has this message for his rescuers. Thanks heaps. Like, it was a really good job. Like, they just stayed with me the whole time. And Daniel will stay at Albany Hospital for a little longer. Emma Sheridan, how's he feeling tonight? Well, Libby, Daniel tells me he's very sore and tired, but otherwise OK. The 14-year-old suffered a chip to one of the vertebrae in his neck, as well as cuts and bruises. He spent the day in a neck brace, but that was taken off late this afternoon. Now, doctors do say they do want to keep him in overnight, just in case Daniel is expected to be released first thing tomorrow morning. Libby.